Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we're back here with another Nintendo news story, and this is about a cancelled Nintendo DS game that never came into fruition. A man named Yute uh, Saito, he was responsible for creating this game that never came out. The point of this game was, it was, both, it was, supposedly, it was supposedly supposed to be about a game that used Mario in some capacity, and I don't think this was a true Mario game, but it more of just used the IP for a game about building engines, man. This was on the Nintendo DS. This is crazy, man. This is really crazy. So he was talking about this at something called the Reboot Developed 2018. So yeah, this guy is responsible for games like Sim Tower, Seaman, Odama, games that really haven't heard of. So, and these games aren't like AAA games, so obviously this wasn't meant to be a $60 premium game, but this probably would be an eShop game that or DSi shop game back in the day. Probably would be a $10 to $20 game. It, it was not a true Mario game, but it's more of just uh, using the, um, the Mario IP to help make the uh, the game. So he says he spoke to Miyamoto about uh, sculpting stuff and stuff like that. He talked about MacBooks and camera frames and watches. So yeah, he wanted to use like metal chunks to sculpt objects. So here's a screenshot here of kind of what he wanted, man. Um, this does not this this to me does not look very uh, straightforward at all. I could see why Nintendo uh, maybe didn't want to uh, didn't want to uh, do this. He, this guy said, you know, he's a middle aged guy. It looks really appealing. You know, which is true. There's a lot of car guys out there. They're obsessed with cars. I know some people. Um, like that, so it's actually a big idea. You can use the, the he can use the uh, Nintendo DS microphone. You can kind of blow, and this would teach people how to how acceleration works and something like that. I don't know what he means by that, but yeah, it's really, really, really um interesting indeed. So he says he spoke with Iwata and Miyamoto, and they claim they that he claimed that those two understood. Just you know, basically what. Um, what he said here is he had a meeting here with Iwata and Miyamoto and they seemed interesting. They seemed interesting. They paid attention and yeah, let's see what, what happened. Hmm. So he says right here, Sado said, I can't tell you why, but please guess in regards to why this game never came to fruition. For, so for some reason, although that uh, Miyamoto and Iwata respected him. For some reason, this project never moved on past this stage here. And I don't exactly know why here. I, I could definitely have uh, speculations, and there's a couple major things you could think of. Obviously, back in the day, this was a DS era, so this was probably mid-2000s, right? And Nintendo was even more uh, protective of their IPs than they are now. I mean, back then, I mean, you could you would not see a spin-off game at all, really. But obviously these days it's a little bit different. You have Mario and Rabbids. I mean you have um, Hyrule Warriors. I mean you have these games here that have Nintendo IPs in it. I mean you have mobile games now. So like it's but back in the day Nintendo was very strict. So I could see them not wanting a third party game even though it's probably going to just be in a DSi shop using their most valuable IP which is Mario. He's the most valuable IP they got. And you, you can't just use Mario man without like a good game, and I don't think Nintendo wanted to be associated with this project, you know, just because they were very protective of their IPs back in that day, and you know, this wasn't meant to be a triple A game, so yeah, and also, he also said that he wanted to potentially bring the game over the mobile platforms as well, and I don't think Nintendo wanted that either, so there's, a, there's definitely a wide variety of reasons why this, pro this project did not come into fruition, but obviously he probably signed an NDNA, which is why you never really um, heard about this at all. So overall guys, yeah. If you want to purchase a Nintendo DS, I have one. It's awesome. Amazon link will be down below. Um, make sure you guys subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. And quickly, I want to show you guys my website here. So I've, I've been saying this recently. So here's my review page. Got all these great reviews here. Got a whole crap ton of reviews. Got reviews on here. So hopefully you guys maybe want to check that out. I got the video vault right here. It's a well executed page. I spent a lot of time with somebody I know who can program. And we have the video vault. All my videos got some exclusive content here. So check that out. I mean, we got, got a shopping page here. And this is my personal website. So, I mean, I got a shopping page, got clothing, got all this crazy stuff. So, check it out, guys. I would appreciate it. So, yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed that video. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's beautiful outside. So, yeah, I'm going to go outside now. So, 
Thank you and bye.